right, today I'm going to do a quick review on this 165 PSI Maximum Craftsman air compressor. It is 165 PSI Maximum air compressor, low maintenance, oil free, 1.7 horsepower, 33 gallons, 6.8 SCFM at 40 PSI, 5.1 CFM at 90 PSI. I've used this for all kinds of stuff. I have your regular standard um, 3 8 hose adapter. Um, I think this is a one quarter nipple. And then I have a large three quarter that I had added to it by myself. Um, it works great. Uh, I can't have any complaints. It fills up really quickly. I leave this out front um, No issues with it at all um, It's it's not quiet <laughs> Probably has that noise when I turn it off probably because it's been sitting out in the rain, but All in all it's a good compressor It does everything I need it to I had a three-quarter inch um, air impact Hooked up to it and it had no issues keeping up with air um, whatsoever and You know if, if any of you know what I mean three-quarter inch air in tools they they suck a ton of air I had waited for it to fill up to 150 PSI and I had no issues running it for seven, almost eight hours. Um, and it only kicked on like three times, three or four times in that eight hour period. Um, it didn't run out of air um, very quickly at all. Uh, and I, I actually take that back. I think it was probably five to seven times it had turned on um, it turned on probably every like 30 40 minutes maybe um, it's a great compressor I have a, a little short extension cord hooked up to mine because my plug is only like 30 40 feet away if that it's not even that I think it's only like 20 feet um, I'll end up doing a review on this later um, this is a, uh, it's a red vice I had picked up. I think it's a six inch vice. I picked it up from Tractor Supply. Um, I actually took a, uh, I took an old drum off my 2004 runner, cut some holes in it, and made it a, made it a heavier stand for the vice so I'll do a review on that when I get some time um, but all in all the compressor is great I, I think I paid like a hundred and seventy bucks for it maybe it was a little more I don't remember it might have been like 260 I don't remember um, but I'll put in in the description below I'll get the information for it and um, the price and everything uh, all in all it's a great compressor um, to go inside and I'll show you something real quick. I have, I also bought this, um, regulator and filter by Craftsman. Um, this three manifold piece, it's actually from Harbor Freight. I paid... I think it's like six bucks for the manifold, but this is great. I usually leave this on there, but I brought them in because I needed to clean them because it rained. And then for the <coughs> for the three quarter inch hose, I bought this from Harbor Freight. This filter and um, regulator. This works really good. I got the quick coupling adapters from Napa though I didn't buy the quick couplers from 
Harbor Freight. I bought them from Napa because Harbor Freight doesn't sell three quarter inch. Oh, the video cut out. Uh, the last thing I had stated for the video cut out was that the Harbor Freight doesn't sell the three quarter inch um, quick couplers. I had to buy them from Napa because Harbor Freight doesn't sell them at all. I have several of these. I probably spent a good 200 bucks on quick couplers um, from Napa because I have so many three quarter inch tools. Uh, and but to get back to the, the compressor, um, for the money you pay for the compressor, it is a great compressor and it, the other great thing about it is it's the only one I found that was bigger than a 26 inch. This compressor is 33, uh, or, you know, bigger than a 26 gallon. This compressor is a 33 gallon. Um, I went to Harbor Freight and a few other places and all the compressors I had found were 26 gallon or below or you were looking at five, six, seven hundred dollars for something that was, you know, a 60 gallon. And I don't have a dedicated uh, 240 line in my house, uh, which eventually I'm going to install a 240 line specifically for um, welding. But, uh, I just, you know, it, problem is, is it costs a lot of money and I was looking at some decent ones like Ingersoll Rands. They're like $1,600 just for, you know, a 60 gallon. So for a 33 gallon, you know, it does well. It has, hasn't had any issues. The only thing I have had an issue with is that this handle is nice and tight and this one is loose. The other downside to it, in my opinion, is that the petcock is on the very bottom. And it's, it's, you have to tilt the compressor just to open the petcock. Um, I usually, what I do is I'll take my, uh, my regulator and it's plugged into here and I'll just unscrew the bottom and just let it drain that way instead of, um, tilting it every time I need to drain it. I just drain it through the regulator so that way it makes it easier on me. I could also drain it through the three quarter inch regulator also. And there's a little air in it because I turned it on. Not much, wasn't on long enough. But all in all, it's a great compressor. I would definitely recommend it if you need something for your house. It runs 3 8 air tools. Amazing. I, I It doesn't start very often. It doesn't kick on um, to refill very often. And I use 3, three eighths and quarter inch air tools um, a lot. And it has no struggles the three quarter inch it does struggle with but not in a way that is is bad it just it stays on a little longer than normal but you know when you're running air tools of course you know some tools are gonna keep the compressor on longer than others three quarter inch tools they they'll make a 60 gallon constantly kick on so you know it's not uncommon for it to make a 33 gallon constantly kick on but uh, all in all, it works great. Three eighths, quarter inch. You can use them all day long without any issues. Three quarter inch. You can use it all day long without any issues. It just kicks on several times more than it would for a three eighths or a quarter inch air tool. Um, die grinder stuff like that. You can use it all day with without it probably kicking on any more than twice. Um, if you're using impacts, it's going to kick on a few few more times if especially if you're constantly using the the impacts if you're just bop 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 a couple times you know pulling off lug nuts or something then yeah you should be fine um, all in all it's a great compressor I would recommend it um, and I'll make sure I get the information below for you guys and thank you for stopping by and um, like I stated I'll do a a review on the Lorin. This is Lorin L A R I N Vice later. Um, 
and this is just a, this is a custom cart I, I made this is a old um, a old uh, generator cart that I had bolted a small compressor to and I have another Harbor Freight um, with three manifolds that filter regulator right there and I custom made it with the panel so it's got plugs that work in the front and everything but I'll do a review on this cart and the Lauren Vice and some other stuff later uh, just give you guys some more videos to watch thank you for watching and please like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next video later